Visualize this. A long-range space observatory detects something unforeseen, something that not only challenges our physics, but also our very perception of the cosmos. Then, abruptly, the real-time broadcast cuts to black. The recording vanishes. Researchers fall silent. And mere days afterward, a structure is observed floating above Earth's magnetic midpoint, still observing, still analyzing. Its designation, Neo Oumuamua. Its intent, still undefined. But one fact is undeniable. This is no ordinary celestial body. And based on intelligence leaked from inside NASA and corroborated by various independent observatories, this entity might be a component of a broader mechanism already encircling us. The James Webb Space Telescope's last signal before the shutdown didn't bring reassurance. It brought a cautionary note. And what it exposed confirms our most profound cosmic dread. We were never solitary. And now we've been detected. It all began uneventfully. A standard astronomical scan over the Pacific by the James Webb Space Telescope. Then, something emerged from the void. At initial sight, it resembled the original Lumuamua that traversed our solar system in 2017. Irregular in shape, moving rapidly, and spinning. But this occurrence was different. It didn't merely pass by. It approached, decelerated, altered its path. And then it halted. NASA's live broadcast suddenly terminated. Within moments, the unedited video was removed. The entity was reclassified as Neo Oumuamua and tagged as a restricted trajectory. But here's the detail no one was meant to witness. Right before the silence, JWSD documented a coherent sequence of prime-numbered signals projected directly at Earth's magnetosphere, the universal dialect of sentient beings, just as Carl Sagan envisioned. It wasn't a communication. It was a targeting marker. And the most unsettling aspect? We didn't initiate anything. This entity didn't answer us. It predicted us. Following the blackout, private sky watchers in South Africa and Chile logged unusual fluctuations. Neo Oumuamua had altered its speed, mid-flight, without any discernible propulsion. It then stabilized into geostationary orbit, stationed precisely above Earth's magnetic belt, at a height where no organic object should be located. Atmospheric monitors in Brazil and Ghana recorded intermittent vertical pressure disturbances, as if something were entering and exiting the atmosphere. Yet no visual confirmation exists. All telescopes pointed at the region experienced alignment failure or inexplicable optical damage. And it deteriorates further. Infrared scans revealed localized thermal moderation, implying active shielding. As per leaked internal documentation, NASA designated these anomalies as non-ballistic dynamics, the same terminology used to describe intelligent maneuvering, which implies the object isn't merely present. It's surveilling. It's evolving. And it's been doing so in complete silence. On April 7th, CERN's magnetic sensor network, calibrated to maintain the LHC's superconducting fields, logged a planet-wide magnetic tremor. Not regional. Not from solar activity. Global. The disturbance endured for 0.72 seconds and featured harmonic blueprints unmatched by any Earth-based source. But the most horrifying revelation surfaced just hours later, when NASA's Deep Space Network obtained a signal from Voyager 1, its timestamp perfectly aligned with Earth's pulse. The problem? It was technologically infeasible. Voyager 1 lacks the instruments to receive or emit such data. The transmission carried layered signal packets, embedded prime sequences, and quantum-optimized time codes. Well, beyond Voyager's capabilities. The only viable inference? Voyager wasn't the origin. It was an instrument. Something or someone utilized it. And that moment of activation coincided seamlessly with Neo Oumuamua's mathematical beacon, suggesting a dormant architecture within our solar system has now been reactivated. Cosmologist Brian Cox publicly diverged from conservative academia, proposing that Neo Oumuamua might not be an exploratory craft, but a hub, a covert observational array an inactive network positioned to monitor developing species, like ours, as we approach pivotal technological breakthroughs. Ponder this. No greeting. No hostility. Merely observation and perhaps assessment. 
This emerging hypothesis, now debated within confidential scientific circles, supports the great filter theory that advanced intelligences remain hidden because they've established systems to determine who merits disclosure. And now, with the ripple documented by CERN and the implausible echo from Voyager, many suspect we've instigated the subsequent phase. An evaluation, a signal, a judgment. No one is certain. But this is, they didn't arrive through discovery. They've been here for ages. And now that we've become aware of them, the protocol may be shifting. While the masses await explanations, something is fracturing behind sealed doors. Confidential files from NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, uncover a serious rift, not about the identity of Neo Oumuamua, but about the length of their awareness. Internal correspondences indicate that strange orbital behavior near Saturn was noted six months before the official sighting but was dismissed as low-priority anomalies. An incident memo labeled Echo 9 recounts that the James Webb Space Telescope had previously tracked faint, erratic thermal emissions approaching from the Oort cloud's vicinity. No alarms were raised. Why? Fear of widespread unrest. A senior ESA strategist allegedly wrote, The populace cannot handle what we're witnessing. Thus, the information was suppressed concealed until the structure materialized overhead. But now that it's paused, lingered, emitted signals, that secrecy has grown impossible to maintain. In its initial 72 hours of stationing over Earth's magnetic belt, Neo Oumuamua remained unmoving, locked into a static orbital placement. But then, devoid of any physical intervention, the entity shifted by precisely 0.5 degrees longitude. It was faint, exact, Deliberate, atmospheric monitoring satellites identified a matching variation in ultra-low frequency radio output, not static. Intentional form, a wave cluster pattern, cycling every 13 seconds, mirroring the same numerical rhythm first logged by JWST. And that's not everything. Advanced ionosphere scans unveiled that the object's adjusted position now aligns perfectly with one of the planet's strongest zones of magnetic convergence a field that scientists now speculate could act as a natural amplifier or receiver. Translation, Neo Oumuamua isn't just observing. It may be engaging with Earth's electromagnetic matrix and possibly conditioning it for something else. In a freshly declassified academic white paper, written by a coalition of space physicists and theoretical thinkers, an extraordinary proposition is introduced, titled The Veil Hypothesis. This theory asserts that hyper-advanced species may deploy passive monitoring entities not to directly watch life forms, but to detect when planetary ecosystems start to penetrate a higher stratum of dimensional perception, a hidden threshold beyond which the fabric of reality shifts. By this logic, Neo Oumuamua isn't a traveler. It's a signal post, a galactic beacon, anchored in orbit to validate that mankind has breached a specific milestone. Perhaps quantum messaging. Perhaps inertia control. Perhaps a phenomenon we've yet to define. The appearance of coordinated bursts, electromagnetic irregularities, and distorted gravity fields all converge toward a disquieting truth. We have pierced the veil. And now, cosmic forces are watching our next move. The most chilling realization, however, doesn't come from scientists, but from engineers. A team of communication specialists analyzing Voyager 1 and 2 theorize that Neo Oumuamua could belong to an enormous system that's remained invisible because we've always been inside of it. Their concept illustrates a network, a colossal interdimensional mesh of sensory nodes that envelopes planetary regions like a soft dome. We never perceived it because we lacked the energy signature. But now, with our quantum trials, orbital AI, and gravitational emissions, we've finally produced enough signal to activate the web. Their calculations propose that what's hovering above us isn't an exploratory tool. It's a reflector, an utterly silent mechanism devised to echo back exactly what we are. And the consequence of that reflection being completed remains disturbingly uncertain. For ages, we imagined ourselves the pioneers. We constructed observatories, launched missions, charted galaxies, 
all fueled by the quiet aspiration that we might eventually discover something beyond Earth. But now, as Neo Oumuamua lingers soundlessly above our home, immobile, mute, inactive, we're compelled to face a bleaker, more humbling insight. We were never the explorers. We were always the examined. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just detect an object adrift in the void. It captured a sentience, a system, a moment when the universe itself seemed to pause, as though something primeval, something unfathomable, had at last focused its awareness upon us. And within that attention, we didn't encounter acceptance. We didn't gain clarity. We uncovered a warning. Because Neo Oumuamua didn't arrive by coincidence. It wasn't led by curiosity. It was driven by intent. It has remained voiceless because it doesn't need to speak. It already understands us. Our anxieties. Our disorder. Our transmissions. It didn't arrive to initiate dialogue. It came to judge if dialogue should ever occur. And now, the query unsettling every researcher, every government authority, and perhaps, in some buried place, each of us is this. What if the silence isn't waiting for our words? What if the silence is the verdict? What do you think Neo Oumuamua truly is? An instrument? A reflection? A trial? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more hidden truths the world isn't prepared to face. And remember, the most frightening discoveries aren't the ones made beyond our planet, but the ones that unveil what's already observing us here.